because in the dream Tim had, he saw himself in front of the White House, and he said to himself, I think I'm going to go over where that where I was standing when that mercy angel came to us in the dream. He says this to himself. So he goes over in the dream and he stands right where we stood yesterday and dealt with that portal and dealt with some other things that shall not go public. He stood there and he said, I'm going to go stand where that angel spoke to us. And I went to that spot. As I stood there praying in the dream, looking at the White House, I see a guy maybe 100 yards away. He's carrying a tree trunk that was about a foot and a half in diameter and maybe 12 feet long. And he says, I'm thinking in the dream, he's carrying a tree trunk. <laughs> There's no way a human being <coughs> can carry a 12 foot long tree trunk. That, he's, I'm reading it, for, that can't be, this is what he's saying to himself in the dream. That can't be, that can't be human. That has to be the angel. As he came closer and closer, I could see that it was indeed an angel. Different. A very, very big angel, he said. Muscles rippling all over. And he carried the log under one arm as he walked toward me. He came up to me. In the dream, he stopped directly in front of me and just stared at me. <laughs> in the dream, he says, I finally asked the obvious. Why are you carrying a tree trunk? <laughs> You'd have to know my brother. It's like. <laughs> I'm hanging on every word and he says this. I'm doing what you're doing. Why are you carrying that tree trunk? And he answers me in the demeanor and language of a soldier. <laughs> Maybe you're a confirmation soldier, sailor. He says, I knew, he says, in the language of a soldier, in the demeanor of a soldier, he said, which is very telling, obviously. Sir, the angel said, sir, it's not a trunk. It's not a tree trunk, sir. It's a battering ram. He said, well, I said, he, he says in the dream. What are you going to do with it, soldier? He said, I knew to call him soldier because of the way he was speaking. He said, there are four of us surrounding the White House, sir. We're here to break down Lucifer's protective barriers. There's more. There's more to that sentence. I'm, we are here, he said, to break down Lucifer's protective barriers of Baal's roots.
God started talking to me about Zephon. I had to go back and say, who was that? This was a year ago. He said, I'm going to finish this now. This Baal thing. So we are here. There are four of us surrounding the White House. We're here to break down Lucifer's protective barriers of Baal's roots. We're gone for the root now. We've dealt with all the stuff and all the little tentacles and sacrifice places. And now we finally got the bloodshed decree over our nation stopped where God can say, now we can get the root of this thing. a good word, isn't it? Yeah. Encouraging word. So Tim says in the dream, standing at the place of mercy, talking to the angel, one of four with a battering ram. Well, he said to the angel, the dream, why did you, why did you come and reveal this to me? And the angel said, Sir, permission to proceed. Waiting for the apostolic decree from the ecclesia to carry out, to be the voice of the Lord. So they could carry out their assignment. I may mess with some of y'all's theology. Just telling you what the dream said. It doesn't mess with mine at all. Sir. Permission to proceed. And he says. In the dream, I said. Soldier. Proceed. And he finishes his account by saying, Michael and his angels will be releasing battering rams to unlock this nation. And they will. 